Hello everyone. Welcome to Player as Right episode 3. Today I am with the last episode champion Harry James Bottom and today we have a new rival for Harry. Joe Connor. How are you doing, Joe? I'm nervous for today. I hear Harry's you going to champion. Be. Uh, <laughs> you should be. Harry is a champion. Harry is a proper champion. Over three rounds, we will show two S each to our guests, and they need to guess which one performed higher or lower. A correct answer equals one point, and most point wins. So, shall we, guys? Okay, let's get started. We are going to start with RevOps. So, Joe, it is you. We have two S. On the left hand side, we have an ad that resembles the salt B, but probably more legally compliant. <laughs> and on the second one, on the right hand side, we have a Google search themed RevOps ad in which we are actually uh, talking about four different uh, value propositions. Which one do you think performed better? I'm going to keep it very simple and go from which my eyes are going to first. So I'm going to go add one as the higher performer. And why do you think that? Again, it just, as soon as you put it up, it stood out a lot more. Obviously, stock images sometimes don't work, but the fact is a very different one. You're not going to see that on the feed too often, are you? So I'm thinking that will work. It's copying a funny meme, so it's going to stand out. And the other one, I think once you actually start looking at it, it's good, but it just doesn't stand out as much on first glance. You know what? It's a really good start. Joe, you get one point. It's a really good start. Congratulations. And yeah, I completely agree with you. Like the first, ad, even though the second ad shows all of the pain points that we want to show, the first one has a really interesting concept. Like everyone can understand that it is salt B, but it is not salt B. So it directly gets the attention. And once it gets the attention, then we basically show all of the uh, pain points, even though they look smaller than the second ad the pain points we know that the audience is already attracted they're already engaged so they keep reading and they engage more so good job joe good start worried now good worried. <laughs> now harry we go to casper on the left hand side we have at one in which we target strs and we say maybe you should try calling them and the cta is get free credits in the second one, on the right hand side, we talk about cell numbers and we tell them cell numbers for free and the city is get free contact details. So, which one do you think performed better? Straight off the bat, I'm going to go with add two, just purely because, I mean, I get it, I'm not, I'm not the, the ICP here, but I had to second guess the first one. I was like, maybe you should try calling them. I was like, wait, what? So I've had to like, there's, there's a higher barrier to, to like consumption there. So we'll go with add two, which is clear, it's concise, it's up, the value is up front. I think you made a great point there. Uh, there's a barrier for the first one. Uh, and it is also actually showing the importance of understanding the ICP. So unfortunately you are so wrong Harry, because at one is the winner. For me, at two is better as well because we have a clear value proposition we say it is free and we just tell them okay send numbers and it's free like when you think about it it is very simple but when you uh, look at the first one actually maybe you should try calling them it's a clear line that each SDR gets from their manager like SDRs always say okay I can't reach them and the managers like like maybe you should try calling them as if they haven't done that already so even though it doesn't resonate with us for non SDRs Actually, it does resonate really well with STRs. Hence, it is by far the best platform yet uh, in this campaign. Oh, my championship's up to grabs already. I'm not happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling, Kerry? Not good, not good. <laughs> yeah. You can go by two mil or you can just stay at one mil. It's all up to you. On the left-hand side, we have an ad once again gives all of the pain points and talks about the benefits. 
on the second one, we are seeing a more simple one. And yeah, it is more simple to be fair. So Joe, tell me, which one do you think perform better? This is a really tricky one. Um, I'm gonna go with two, which might not, my eyes went to one first, but the whole like secrets thing normally gets a bit of traction. Uh, I think people just like the sort of clickbaity style of them, which one I'm going for it. But I reckon these two are very close in their engagement rate. You are right. They are so close, actually. Like, I think uh, Harry played bet here because, like, there's only like maybe one percent difference uh, <laughs> between them. <laughs> uh, but you know what, Joe? You're so right once again. To me. Oh wow, that's good. <laughs> I, I, I do agree with everything you say. Like, okay, in the first one. We are giving all of the pain points and again we are talking with our audience uh with all of their uh all of their needs but the second one has a secret content in it it is clickbaity therefore people engage more and when you think about it the revops persona doesn't get targeted a lot with like secret content uh like sales does or marketing does so like when you when they see a secret content that bait works better than uh, it works in marketing and sales. But wow, two mil. I think we are going to have a new champion if Harry doesn't make a comeback. <laughs> oh, I've got to get this, Anna. Harry, how are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, actually, this one and the last one uh, were the hardest ones, and the metrics are really close. Like both of you actually played bet here, and yeah, this is going to be a hard one, Harry. On the left hand side, we have a screenshot copied in which we generally know once we add screenshot, they perform better usually. And on the second one, we have our influencer Morgan talking about the perfect cold call. So tell me, which one do you think performed better? This is a real tough one because I know add one that will just mine clicks just you know from people accidentally clicking yeah. like or comments or whatever but then add two it is it's bold it's straight away morgan obviously well-known figure in the in the sales space so people aren't going to want to hear what he he wants to say and with us looking at engagement rate oh god um i'm gonna go with add one are you sure no, but go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you go with Edouard? What is just the reasoning here? Just literally the clickbait. It's, it's that the false pretense of the, the likes, the comments, and, and all that sort of stuff. Like People will naturally go to do that just based on Shabri's post, but then it'll get clicked through to a landing page. So I, I, if we were looking at click-through rate, it wouldn't even be a question, but the engagement rate is what's throwing me off. But I'm just, I'm going to lean slightly to add one, yeah, because of those reasons. Nah, nah, nah. Oh. <laughs> <Too much. laughs> wow. That's why I'm going to in there. We are going to have another champion, probably. Okay, we still have like three questions, but oh my God, Harry, come on. Come on, get better. So, oh my God. Add one, I can't agree with you. Clickbait, we know that this screenshot content always works. This content always works better than any other uh, single image content that we have. However, on the second one, there's a bit, a bit that really works with our ICP, with STRs. Our ICP knows Morgan. Our ICP makes cold calls. And our ICP wants to understand how they can make better cold calls. So it is actually like a cold call, uh, with cold call training video, but it is with Morgan, and it is just actually reacting. Therefore, it doesn't require a lot of uh, it doesn't require a lot of uh, attention. It doesn't require a lot of uh, time. They can just watch one bit and uh, they can carry on. Hence. It performed slightly better, actually. Like there's definitely not a huge difference between these two, but uh, the second one performed slightly better. So you know what? I'm going to change the structure a bit. 
two mil, oh. and I'm going to give Harry a chance to come back. We have two S. On the left hand side, we have a pigeon net, uh, which has been stolen by a lot of companies like Chili Piper, uh, like other companies, uh, maybe Lavender. But yeah, Casper had this one first, did it first, like maybe for three months, maybe for four months now. And the second one is under to the pain point at and the wrong number at with a clear free mobile number CTA. Which one do you think performed better? I remember I had one from our meetup. I think it was on there. And I want to say it didn't perform very well initially, but that could have changed. But then add two, again, from all the things which we've said so far, that sort of leans towards those. And my gut instinct wants to go with add one, so I'm going to not trust that and go with add two. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my I god. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I tried to give all of the hints. It has been stolen by Lavender, Chili Piper. Like, if it has oh been stolen, it, it needs to be a well at. Come on, man. Come on. I tried to make this uh, episode more competitive, but come on. <laughs> I put, yeah, I put that one Firstly. in because it's one of the worst performing ads we've ever had. The second one. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. And the first one is by far the best performing ad. Second best performing ad. Can we, we refill? And... <laughs> <laughs> oh. and the first ad, like the first thing, it is a meme ad. And meme ads always perform better. Uh, the second one, I don't know how many times. I actually spoke about this at uh, in the bi-weekly meetings. Like, this is amazing. This is so amazing. Uh, so, yeah, I have no other explanation. Memes always work. People love memes. They don't look like S. Since they don't look like S, people do engage them more. And uh, this is not only a meme. <laughs> this is also a funny meme. It makes me laugh every time I see it. Free for 30 minutes next week. Like, it's such an HDR email. And uh, therefore, it resonates a lot with our target audience. Oh, man. Two mil. But you know Harry. what? That's three. I love you, Harry. I love you. And I'm going to ask you a sudden that question, which oh, is man. two points. <laughs> so, if you know this question, it will be... Two two, but Joe will still have one question. But if he if Joe doesn't know that question, it will be tie. But if you can't get this right, then unfortunately you will be dead. Yeah, um I'm my confidence is hit here. I'm really not happy about this. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in your place right now. Like, this is such a <laughs> shameful episode for you. <laughs> I know, I really have. That last one's thrown me big time. Right, so my thought process here, right, ABM. Okay, here, these, these are both marketing ads. Yeah. So marketing for EMEA, and yeah, go yeah. for it. ABM, massive talking point. Everyone's going on about it at the moment. Everyone's trying to do it. So I know that'll have a lot of resonance in the marketing world at the moment. However, I do know that the swipe file, they work. And obviously there's those memes blurred out. So there's that eye drawing thing anyway. And I bloody just love that cat meme. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> so I'm going to go with add one. Okay. Uh, we will see about it once Joe answers this. Okay, Joe. We don't know if Harry gets it right or wrong. So it might be a tie or you might actually win. Third round, at one. I really like the way you we are. <laughs> Th thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> so, Joe Connor, tell me, which one do you think performed better? Um, I'm gonna go for one. And I don't really have any reason to go for one, apart from it just looks really visually appealing. Um, the other one, there's a lot going on. I'm not sure if it's as good as uh, 
um, cut out as the other ones, but I think it could be either way here. So, at one or at two, tell me your last decision. I'm going to stick with at one. Okay. So, we have Joe and we have Harry here. Harry, do you think... Did you win? No, you no. can't win at this point. But do you think it will be a tie? No, not at all. I really, I really don't back myself here. I think this this could be a three nil. Well, good news is you get this right. It is two two right now. You came back, <laughs> so you are back in the game. And let me tell you why. I agree. The first set it has so many good memes. It is all blurred, and everyone wants to see memes. The second one, the second thing is as Joe said uh, for the previous one. Uh, it is clickbait. Like people need to click to see those emails. Therefore, it gets more engagement. But also for the second ad, there is something. Okay, the ad is nice, and we give the example. It is clickbait. However, the number of companies that are doing ABM is actually really few. But everyone does email nurture, so our target audience for the first ad is better. Therefore, it gets more engagement. If ABM was such a widely known thing of, and a, every company was doing ABM, probably it wouldn't be such difference between these two ads. But for this reason, the first ad had better engagement rate. Therefore, it is true too. Now, the moment of truth. Is the tie or do we have a new champion? Joe, how are you feeling? Do you feel like a champion or do you feel like an ordinary guy? I have no idea. I'm really, I'm confused now. Me, <laughs> do you, know do you feel go. like a champion? Tell I feel me, like yes a champion. No. Do you feel like a champion? <laughs> you know what? You're a champion. Hey. <laughs> You're a champion, Joe. You aced. You knew every ad. And now I'm going to speak with Amy. Maybe you got the answers before because you didn't make one mistake. And yeah, like all of your re reasonings were to the point. Uh, I felt like you had the cheat, cheat sheet, but I cannot prove that. Uh, but yeah, congratulations. You won you and <laughs> you are our new champion. Uh, well played, Harry, Harry. How does it feel? Don't worry, there's a short show life as a champion. You only get two episodes and then <laughs> you off, they rig it. This is what happens. <laughs> Joe, as a champion, who would you like to compete in the next episode? I'll take on anyone. Is it internal? Is it external? What's happening? <laughs> we could go external probably, but we might have one or two more people internally that you might compete with. Yeah, there's what? There's Nicole, Clement, there's everyone. You can tackle everyone. Or if, if you want to be a big boy, why don't you go get Chamberk, rival Chamberk? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do that to anyone. <laughs> no, I don't want to take Chamberk on anytime soon. <laughs> well, Joe, congratulations. And you will get your bottle of champagne from Cognizem next week. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This is Play Your Edge Right, episode three. And for three episodes, we had three champions. For the first episode, Jamie was the champion. In the second one, Harry was the champion. And in the third one, Joe is the champion. Now, Jamie is nobody. Harry is nobody. Tim is nobody. And J Joe is now waiting for his new competitor. See you in the next episode.